Welcome back. The Hamilton County Sheriff's Office hosting an inmate job fair today at the Silverdale Detention Center as part of their reentry program. The program offers employment and housing opportunities for those who are scheduled to be released soon. News Channel 9's Isaiah Kim Martinez was there and met with a few of those inmates who are looking for a second chance. Isaiah. Josh and Latricia, it was a rejuvenated move, um, a rejuvenated mood, excuse me, from the moment I stepped into the room. Inmates dealing with troubled past, particularly David Griggs, saying they're ready to get back to the real world and become model citizens. It's a good day. Um, I mean, we got a lot of networking going on, a lot of people giving second chances for us. So it gives a lot of people in here hope. Hope has at times been hard to find for 53-year-old David Griggs. He suffered through a lifetime of opioid addiction and is serving time at Silverdale for burglary. But Griggs doesn't want to be the same guy in this mugshot anymore. It's a progressive disease. I've learned about it like 10 years, like 10 years ago. I started learning about it, trying to study it. It's been a journey, but <clears throat> I basically, I have, I have have a desire now to help others. And at a job fair held today at the Silverdale Detention Center provided a fresh start for Griggs and 10 other inmates. They'll be released soon, but today they showed off their resumes to potential employers. There it is. It's all good. Wendy Harris, the reentry supervisor for Hamilton County Sheriff's Office, makes sure to provide resources and programs to help inmates get readjusted to society. I believe that people deserve a second chance. I believe that it's cost effective to have productive citizens and to not have them to be incarcerated. Griggs is ready for his second chance. He says he's been clean for just over a year now and is ready to follow his passions again, which doesn't just include a career in welding. He's also discovered a love for counseling those that struggle with the same addictions he does. I know how it feels to be hopeless. I know how it feels to be uh, free of addiction for three, almost three years. At one, and I've had a taste of recovery, so I'm hungry for it, and I have hope now. And Supervisor Wendy Harris telling me Griggs is one of those people where the passion is already there. She says she really knows what he wants to do, and that's to give back. Josh. Isaiah, thank you. The reentry program also offers chances for inmates to find housing and to go along with employment once they are released.